In our past lesson, we have learned that light o yung liwanag and sound tunog are forms of energy which have different properties and characteristics. Sound and light are similar in the sense that they both travel in waves or paalun. There are lots of sounds in everyday life and each sound has certain characteristics that make it unique or kakaiba. On the other hand, Light is all around us. Without it, we will be in total darkness. Kadili man lang ang makikita natin. Because light wave in generally associated with color, kulay, and brightness, liwanag. Just like sound, light has different properties. And it is important that we know them to make our lives even better. So simulan muna natin sa lesson 1, properties of light. Earth has been gifted with light from the sun o liwanag na nanggagaling sa araw. It is our most important source of energy. Light warms us or nagbibigay sa atin ng init, enables plants to reproduce oxygen, and allows us to find our way around all day. Without light, life is impossible. Imposibling mabuhay tayo. What happens to light when it hits a material? Some material will allow light to pass through them o makakadaan ang liwanag sa kanila. Thus, you can clearly see through that object. Makikita mo kung ano yung nasa kabila ng object na yon. They are classified as transparent materials. Example of these are transparent window. Some materials will allow some light to pass through. Konting liwanag lang ang makakadaan while the remaining light will scatter or kakalat. These are translucent materials and you can usually see fuzzy or unclear or in Tagalog, hindi malinaw na images through this kind of material. Example is a glass of water. Some materials do not allow light to pass through them. Hindi makakadaan ang liwanag sa kanila. These materials are called opaque materials. As they block any light from passing through them o hinaharangan nila yung liwanag na hindi makadaan sa kanila. You cannot see on the other side of the material o hindi mo makikita kung ano yung nasa other side ng material na ito. Ang isang example nito ay block of wood. What happens to light on the surface of the material? When we say surface sa ibabaw. When light strikes o tinamaan niya ang isang very smooth na opaque surface, light bounces back o tatalbog ito pabalik in the same direction. The way light bounces back in very much like the way as a ball bounces back on a hard smooth surface. When you throw a ball straight down, it will bounce straight back to you. Ganon ang nangyayari sa light kapag tumama siya sa isang smooth opaque surface. When you throw a ball in an angle, it will bounce off the same angle away from you. Light behaves in the same way when it hit the mirror which has a very smooth surface, light bounces off at the same angle that it struck the mirror. This bouncing of light is called reflection. What happens to light when it passes through different materials? Light travels slower o mas mabagal sa water at sa glass kaysa sa air. This bending of light is called refraction. Refraction only happens when light moves from one transparent material or medium such as in air to glass and in glass to water. Nangyayari ang refraction kapag dumaan ang light sa isang transparent material tulad ng air papunta sa glass at glass papuntang water. This visual effect is witnessed if you look at a pencil in a glass half filled with water. As you look at the pencil from top or on the other side, the pencil appeared bent o magmumuka itong baloktot. 
at the water surface. However, when you took it out of the glass, it was still as straight as it was before. Kapag tinanggal mo ang pencil sa glass, ay straight pa din ito. When part of it was placed in glass of water, it looked bent o magmumukha siyang balokto. It even appeared as if it was cut o mukha siyang pinutol and its lower end was bigger. But when you raise the pencil and touch, it was not bent and the lower end is on the same size as the upper part. How does rainbow form? Rainbows are formed from the interaction of light and the raindrops. During rainbow formation, two things happen to the light, refraction and reflection. Refraction happens as some of the sunlight enters the surface of the droplets. These bands light and will initially separate them into seven different bands of light or colors that will be reflected at the back of the droplets. As the bands exit the raindrop, it will be further refracted into the order of colors displayed in a rainbow arc. So ano ba yung colors na nakikita natin sa rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Okay, punta naman tayo sa lesson 2 mga anak. Properties of sound. We use and hear sounds every day. It helps us to communicate messages in many ways, suits the mind, and makes us relieve stress from our everyday lives. Sound also makes us aware of what is happening around us. Hence, it is important to know its properties and characteristics. Sound is a type of energy made by vibrations or panginginig. Subukan ninyong hawakan yung inyong lalabunan habang nagsasalita. Di ba may panginginig kayong nararamdaman? Yan yung vibration. When any object vibrates, it causes movement in the air particles surrounding it. These particles bump in the particles close to them, which makes them vibrate too, causing them to bump into more air particles. This movement is called sound waves. Loudness The sound that you hear may vary in different ways. Some sound may be too loud or malakas, while others may be too soft, mahina. When you describe a sound, the first thing you think is about loudness. You may whisper around a sleeping baby, but might give an all-out shout when your favorite basketball player scored a crucial end game. Loudness is a measure of how strong a sound seems to us, kung gaano kalakas ang tunog na ating naririnig. This volume of sound would depend on the strength of the vibration o lakas ng panginginig ng isang object. If we apply greater force in an object, we produce loud sounds or malakas na tunog. If we apply lesser force in an object, we can produce soft sounds or mahinang tunog. A stronger force causes a louder volume of sound as in the case of rumbling thunder or yung kulog, while a lesser force makes softer sound like the soft breeze on a fine day. Other soft sound may not be loud enough to be heard by human ear, while some sounds may not be pleasing to the ears. Noise People react to sounds in different ways. Some sound can distract us and break our concentration. When this happens, the sound becomes unwanted noise o yung tinatawag na ingay. Noise is any undesirable sound o hindi magandang tunog which disturbs o maaring makaistorbo sa mga activities natin, tayong mga tao at pati na rin sa mga hayop. Sometimes it is the repetitive nature of a certain sound and our inability to control it that makes it annoying. Car blowing its horn and seemingly endless barking of a dog at night are good examples of noise. We also contribute the production of noise when we talk all together at the same time in our classroom or at home. Kapag sabay-sabay tayo nagsasalita sa school or sa bahay, isang example din yan ng noise. Sound wave 
these sound waves may travel and pass this vibration into our ears. Thus, we hear the sound. If you are near the sound, the sound you usually hear seems louder and then it gradually fades or becomes softer when we move away from it. Kapag ikaw ay malapit sa pinanggagalingan ng sound, maririnig mo ito ng mas malakas. Hihina naman ito kung ikaw ay papalayo na sa pinanggagalingan ng sound. The sound does not lose some of its energy as it travels through the air. Hindi nawawala yung energy ng sound. The energy just spreads o kumakalat ito to cover a larger area. Echo This is an example of an echo. A sound wave travels at different speed through different media. As it travels, it often bump into objects it encounter or nabubunggo sa mga object na tinatamaan ito. When sound encounters different materials like walls or carpets, it is either reflected or absorbed. If it hits a hard smooth surface, the wave reflects. The sound wave that is reflected or bounces back o tatalbog pabalik is called an echo. An example of an echo is when you shout. Part of the sound waves you created may hit on an opposing hard wall or surface. Part of the sound was reflected by the wall that is when you heard the same sound again. Echolocation Sheeps and bats use echo in locating objects. Echolocation is the transmission of sound waves to locate objects para mahanap ang isang object. Most species of bats rely on echolocation to help them find their food. Meanwhile, whales use echoes to move and find their way through sometimes murky depths of deep ocean para mahanap nila ang kanilang daanan sa ilalim ng karagatan. They send out high-pitched sounds o yung clicks na tinatawag which bounces off an object and return to the whale. The whale can then determine how far the object is o kung ganong kalayo yung object sa kanyang harapan. Other than distance, they can also determine such things as texture, shape, and size of the object. This helps them in deciding on where the prey and the different objects around the ocean may be. Echoes have proven to be of wide practical use by applying this concept to many of our navigational equipment such as locating landmarks and for surveillance. So this is our lesson for this week. Sana ay nakatulong tong video ni sir para masagutan ninyo yung inyong mga assignments and modules. Have a great day everyone. Bye!